destroyer escort number 13, the kind of fighting ship that helped to sink over 200 Axis subs in one year. Fast and maneuverable, hard hitting and hard to hit, with a tough sea going crew that really knows how to slug. Yet only a few months before they came aboard, four out of five were civilians. How come? Well, here's number 677. At this point, most of her future sailors are just getting their greetings from the president. While her men are in basic training, this DE is 60 days in construction, another two months in fitting out. Built in half the time of a destroyer, at half the cost, a DE can do everything a DD could do to guard a convoy. And she's really built for the job. Like the destroyers, DEs are named for naval heroes. Known as sailor ships, these fighter protectors could be called the Hellcats of the surface fleet. Then to the pier for fitting out. Guns and gear, all the things she'll need for her job. It's not quite true that a DE has guns mounted on guns and uses ash cans as armchairs. But that does give you some idea of her firepower. And here they go, sailors who've never been on a ship, on board a ship that's never been to sea. But before they do any fighting, the ship and her crew spend some time in getting acquainted, a shakedown. It doesn't take long to get the sailors' handsome luggage on board, but it does take time to stow an amazing amount of ammunition. Depth charges are still among the most effective weapons against submarines. So we take a few along. Tin fish are also likely to come in handy. Ready for sea, 677 is commissioned, becomes a unit of the United States fleet. The captain reads his orders, yes he gets them too, and the watch is posted. So the Navy's new ship heads out to sea for her shakedown cruise, a cruise designed to test the ship, every gun and every piece of gear and to train the officers and men as a fighting team. For a while, it's just regular routine. Duties are assigned, watches are posted. But the shakedown procedure is as exact as it is extensive. The officers must follow a day-by-day -day plan of operation. GQ, General Quarters for Battle Practice. All hands, man your battle stations. The twenties. The forties. and the three-inch fifties. These are the tubes that launch the deadly torpedo. And here's the sting in the DE's tail, the ash can. The K guns shoot them off the sides, and the racks roll them off the fan tail. Up forward is the hedgehog, throwing ahead a pattern of 24 bombs. A DE can get a sub coming or going. Every man at his battle station, ready for action. And here it comes. The canvas sleeve will be the target.
let's see what we can do to a surface target. Torpedoes are fitted with practice heads. Range 1, 2, 5, double O. Fish cost about $10,000 each. The Navy prefers to have them recovered. A hedgehog salvo is fired forward at a target located by the sonar gear. Sorry, no geysers. They explode only on contact. This is a Mark 9 depth charge, newer than the ash can, but the same general idea. A good crew and fire a full pattern of 13 charges within 30 seconds of the general alarm, then reload within one minute. to the U-boat caught in a pattern like this. Now comes another problem. What to do when fuel runs low at sea? This is a seagoing filling station, a tanker. Under the captain's watchful eye, the DE pulls alongside to take on fuel while both ships are underway. DE crews must learn to work close aboard other ships. At any time, they may have to go to the assistance of disabled vessels or to take them in tow. This is somewhat more bother than filling your car, but at least nobody asks you for coupons. By now, the men know each other, their ship and their jobs. They're beginning to think of this as a pleasure cruise. Though, of course, they do have to tidy up now and then. Or seed an occasional prune. It's important to remember a beard doesn't make a sailor. The sea does that. If you have anything in you, the sea will bring it out. It's a good idea to get a relief if this happens when you're on watch. Off duty, members of the crew can do about what they please. But during a shakedown cruise, those on watch are kept pretty busy. The lookouts report the approach of another DE. Lookouts are fine, but sometimes in foul weather or at night, they're not quite enough. So you carry the magic eye called radar for spotting the enemy. In addition to drilling with target ships, the radar operators track all ships and planes that come within range. But when the enemy is under the surface, you have to spot him with underwater sound or sonar gear. This gear is also handy for detecting reefs 
or other underwater hazards. Another important post is the radio shack, maintaining contact with bases and with other ships. Tactical exercises are a vital part of the shakedown crews. Zigzagging is another important art to learn when you're in the sub-chasing business. In smoke screen exercises, DEs work in teams. One acts as convoy guide. The other lays a smoke screen anywhere up to 12,000 yards long. And now Bermuda, proving there is some truth to that part about seeing the world. DE-677 is assigned to Tiger. The hook is dropped and the jack two block. But the shakedown still has four weeks to go. During that time, there'll be special instructions and drills ashore and battle practice outside the harbor. But even the Navy doesn't expect its men to spend all their time working. Somebody said something about inspection. This DE maintains a modern, airy barber shop with all the trimmings. The toughest part of the whole cruise is the formal inspection by the commander of the DE Shakedown Task Group. Secure from inspection and liberty. Bermuda is only one of the many places DE crews will visit. But wherever they go, sailors are sure to find courteous, uniformed guides who will point out the recommended places. And those not quite so highly thought of. Schools out. The shakedown is finished. The DEs and their crews have graduated. They're ready for action. From here on, when GQ is sounded, it means business.
so the convoy is safe. 677 can now be listed as a veteran ship. Its crew have earned the name of sailors, of man of war's men. Soon, one of these DEs will be your ship. Soon, you'll be sailing for Bermuda and points beyond. Good luck and smooth sailing.